And this right here is basically the final product. This is what I do like on daily basis, I guess. I mean, that's also not quite true. Hello to all of my beautiful souls out there and welcome to a little bit of a different kind of video. In today's video, I've decided to show you my daily makeup routine, which is not a daily makeup routine. This is just like my signature going out somewhere makeup routine, what I always do. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. So I decided to bring you in a little closer. We're up close and personal right here. But let's begin with my base. And I don't like to brag about stuff, but I think I got my base down quite well. As already mentioned in my skincare routine video, I always use the Veil um, Soft Focus Setting Spray, which is by Hourglass. Basically spray it on your face. I know it says that it's a setting spray, but I also prime with it and prep with it. And I also already do have my primer down, which is the Hourglass Vanish Primer. I also showed it in this video, so if you want to check this one out, click right here. So then I always go in with my Dior Forever foundation. I usually like put three pumps on the back of my hand and then I just basically go in and do like a light layer of this foundation. Okay, so this is where we're currently at. I want to mention that this foundation is also quite buildable depending on how much you use. I decided to keep it simple because I prefer to go in with concealers. So, so for the next step, I love to play around with concealers because I saw Jeffree Star doing like a full face of the hourglass concealers, like in different shades and stuff. So this kind of became a routine step for me. And for this step, I'm using these two concealers by hourglass. One is called cotton and the other one is called beach like B-E-E-C-H, beach, not beach, like the beach, um, because this is what I thought when I first heard of it and I couldn't find it under beach. Um, just a friendly note right here. I usually go in with the darker one first and I just put a few dots all over my face. What I especially love about these concealers is that you don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way and it also so full coverage. Um, when I first got them, I put like a lot on, like I would usually do with my other concealers and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? My under eyes are more covered than the rest of my face, so keep that in mind. So I basically just put all these dots all over my face and I go in with my beauty blender and just blend it out. So here's another hack that I learned with makeup just recently. If you want to prevent like the creasing underneath your eyes once you're putting on concealer, try to keep this area clean and not lay down any foundation or like base um, product that you have right there. Okay, and once I have blended this all out, I then usually go on with my uh, cream contour. So whenever I'm a little bit more tan, I prefer to go in with my hourglass uh, foundation stick. I usually use it as contour and a bronzer at the same time. But since I don't have a crazy tan going on, I'm not going to use this today. I definitely prefer to use the Fenty Beauty foundation stick in the color Mocha 03. I'm a huge fan. This is also my second one already because I just love this one so much. And I just basically draw like from the highest part of my ear down. I also put a little bit right here. Then I also saw Victoria Beckham do this cool little contour trick. She puts like two X's right here. I also like to put a little like stripe right there. Then I also do my contour. I basically place it like this. So let's quickly give myself a little surgery right here. A little nose job on the go. And then what I also love to do is to put the uh, contour or bronze color on my eyelids. I don't know, I just feel like everything comes quite well together when I have it on my eyes too. And I also do a little bit on my upper lip, the craziness that I have currently going on. And then I basically just blend it out. So another thing that I love to do is like to pull back my hair and to blend the product out by pushing like in an upward motion. 
I feel like this gives me quite a lifted look and I love it so much. Next step that I usually do, and this is also another hack that I've learned, is to put my concealer after I bronzed or basically cream contoured my face. And for this step I'm using the Hourglass Cotton Concealer. I then usually go like this. This is what it looks like when I have it all done. So this is basically my favorite placement of concealer. Everybody has their own preferences and I will quickly blend this out and I will be right back to you guys. So another hack that I've learned is that you have to let the concealer dry in the spots that you've placed it first before blending it out. So Okay, and once I have this all down, I go in with my powdered products and I just basically... I mean, there's not much explaining to do when it comes to baking. I'm also probably using way too much. It might look crazy right now. I feel like I look like Batman. And then I just basically let it sit for some time while I do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. And this would be like the next step. So I like to wear neutral colors on my eyes and I always like to put like the shade that I'm going to bronze my face with in my crease. With this one I, as you can probably already see, I always go for this color right here. So I basically just take my um, very old blending brush and I go into this shade right here, tap it off and basically go ham on my crease. But one thing that I love to do is to take this brush and also go down my nose and like contour it again. And then I also fell in love with this mirror that I'm holding the whole time. It's the Skin by Kim um, eyeshadow palette. It's the matte one with all of these neutral colors. And I usually put like this color on top of whatever I have going on. And so I have like this other blending brush, which is also dirty, but... I use it every day for the same stuff, so I'm sorry. Um, and then I basically go a little bit underneath my uh, crease and also like in the inner corner of my eye and just blend it everywhere. And so the last step, and this is also another hack that I've learned, I always like to put a little bit of highlighter in the center of my eyelid because it's supposed to make you look a little bit more awake. I just take this sleek makeup highlighter. I think it's also discontinued. That's how old it is and I would not recommend for you to use um, old products but I don't know. I did not have any problems with it so far. And I just put it right there and while I'm at it I also put it on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. So once I have my eyeshadow down I then go back to my base. First thing I do I basically dust off all of this powder that I had going on. I'm going back in with my contour palette by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm again just only using this middle shade right here with my little uh, bronzing brush. That's just what I do. Also I'm not like swiping it on, I'm like dabbing it on because I figured this is what works for me so and once I have this done, I like to go with a little bit of blush. I have this very old e.l.f. blush in the color Always Preppy. And I basically put it right here, because this is also another trick that I've learned. I've learned all of my tricks on TikTok also. And like, kind of on the apple of your cheek, but also above. Now I get why people are saying that I had a lot of plastic surgery, which I didn't. It's just my makeup. That's pretty much it for blush. Once I'm done with that, I then again go in with my sleek makeup um, highlighters. I basically mix, mix them all together. Like, I go crazy, I go like this. Highlight my face. So once all of this is done, I then go back in with my whale Hourglass Whale setting spray. And for the last step, I just gonna do it real quick off camera. I do my uh, mascara. This one is the Dior mascara and I also use this primer right here. I'm gonna do it real quick and then we're gonna do the lips together and... Okay, so this is me with my mascara on. And now for lips, I always use the MAC Spice lip liner, which I probably should get a new one. 
Um, then I also used the MAC 605 Honey Love lipstick like on top of it. Then I basically tap it out and then I go in just like in the center with the Skin by Kim um, Nude O2. And that's basically the lip combo that I prefer to use. And this right here is basically the final product. This is what I do like on daily basis, I guess. I mean, that's also not quite true because most of the time I'm wearing no makeup. But when I'm going out somewhere or do want to wear makeup, I'm usually going for this look. So this is like my signature AP look. Okay, what else? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to put the thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot and I definitely do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, bye!